From the studios in beautiful Oceanport, New Jersey, welcome to the biggest and greatest podcast ever. I'm your host, Ray Kay. Hey guys, got an ex- exciting show. It's actually a very serious show this weekend. It's a special weekend edition. It's something that everybody, uh, make sure you listen to this, make sure you share it all. As everyone knows, we are associated now with the Big Fat American Network on Heart Radio, iHeartRadio and Radio.com. But this is something that, uh, you know, you got to listen to because this is like a life-saving thing. I have one of the most, um, I guess, most world-renowned, if not the most recognized pioneer in uh, water filtration and and, and clean drinking water on on my line. It, it's a sincere pleasure to have him. He's a great man. Uh, just quick, I could go on a half hour with this, but I'll, I'll do the quick version. He uh, privately founded four companies that were acquired by Fortune 500 companies, including uh, Coca-Cola Bottling, say that a few times fast, but he travels the world evaluating and documenting, you know, the country's water condition because this is a worldwide problem. And a couple quotes really stuck out from, from Mr. Carl Palmer, who's going to be my guest. Um, a child dies of water, of a water-related disease every eight seconds. I mean, that, that's shocking. And then, then Carl ends um, with this quote on his bi- biography, I will not conclude my efforts until the world's crisis is as it's related to drinking water is over and our children are protected. That's my promise. A sincere pleasure to welcome the president, CEO, chief bottle washer. I guess you do everything, Carl, from Seychelles Environmental <laughs> Technologies, Mr. Carl Palmer. Carl, welcome to the <laughs> podcast. How was that? Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really. All right. pleasure to be here. Pleasure yeah, here. yeah. Thanks for coming on. Um, we met a couple years ago. Actually, uh, there was a big article about uh, the Erin Brockovich chemical in like 200 million Americans drinking water, which got my attention. I, I've been drinking this uh, filtrations, uh, you know, the family pitcher and the water bottles for about two and a half years now. I never felt better. Carl, I'd like to like lead right in with this Newark situation. It's 20 miles from my backyard. It's getting uh, now. It's getting national news. It was getting local news, but uh, I mean, a bad problem. I think you tried to attack it last year, and this year is a different situation because uh, people are drinking lead. There's all types of stuff in this water. They it takes eight years to to, to fix the pipes. Um, all types of things to put in. They're giving them dr- uh, bottled water that's expired. I mean, there's some. It's every day now is a barrage i'm happy to say though that due to the um due to the help of jim dowd we are um, meeting with them on a conference with the pol- policy advisor the governor in, in september coming up soon so we're kind of excited about this that looks like it's going to take a good turn carl what's your take on this whole newark situation i know you try to get into flint tell us about this bad water drinking problem in the u.s the clean drinking problem well you know that you know, as you know well know right because we've talked about it before there's, there's not an area, probably, in the United States that doesn't have a major contamination problem with some of the one of the major contaminants uh, uh, that's now abreasting everything that's in our drinking water. In California, we have the problem with arsenic. We've got the problem with trihelomethane. We've got the problems, and the same thing's true as you travel across the states. You keep finding more and more contaminants. And what we try to do in our activity is that we find a, a contaminant or we hear about a contaminant or we get a phone call a news station or whatever it might be and so what we instantly do is we get as much information as we can and we try to instantly find out the direct effect on our health that's the very first thing we do because we we know what the of course what the seriousness of it and, and how can we how can we do something about it so uh, the primary one as we're dealing with now is lead of course and the one that's called pfoa that nobody's even ever heard of so, and with, and with lead, you've seen numerous concepts of what the major pro- drinking water problems are. Um, of course, in Newark, and they're no different than Flint, and, but, but that same problem is everywhere. It's just some people just haven't tested for it yet. Um, we have, and, and you know, crazy thing about that, let me comment about something. People say, oh, well, there's a problem with getting the lead out of the water. Has anybody ever asked anybody why? Well, is the lead is the lead part of the pipes or something, or like what's the real deal with that? How come? How come? There's, that, 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 mm-hmm. sure. it's, it's because you know it's the infrastructure. You know, it's been there for you know many, 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 many years, and it, it, it starts to corrode. Starts and, it, and depending upon what kind of materials they were made out of, but that starts happening. Point of use, in my opinion, I think the municipals do all they possibly can to solve the problem. I really do. They're doing everything they can, but the minute they 
the minute they disperse the water into the infrastructure that's going to go to all of our homes and businesses and schools and things like that, then all of a sudden it starts absorbing the contaminants that are in those materials, whether it's lead piping or it's cadmium piping or it's copper piping or whatever it may be. Those contaminants are all have a direct effect on our health. So, And then the only way to do it, eventually it's going to get to your faucet and you're going to drink that water. And you're going to accumulate that contaminant. Okay. So inevitably, it seems like it's just a, a, eventually a losing situation. Okay, you replace the pipes. Unless you, I guess, can you replace them with non-lead pipes? Or, well, uh, <laughs> that that's, could be stainless steel. Can you imagine that? That would cost million, more, more millions than they're talking about. But, but you know, there, this is going to happen over and over again for the rest of our lives. There's no question about it. So the only thing I believe strongly is I believe the word point of use is is necessary for people to understand the only thing they can do is protect their own drinking water as it comes out of that faucet for themselves or their children. Now, as I've told you before, about 75% of the water we drink in our lifetime, we drink away from home. So I don't care what kind of uh, point of use product you have in the home. It can only benefit you while you're there. The problem is the minute you walk out the door, whether you're going to work or school or going down to the play yard or going to the gym or wherever you might be going, you're going to have to find another source that's probably not protected uh, from these, these particular kind of, these, these specific kind of contaminants. And, and I'm going to read a, a minute to you, but I, I, I commented about lead. I, I, I've researched, let's see, I'm looking here, I'm going to say 60 different articles, magazines, pamphlets, different governmental uh, and, and, uh, documents, uh, environmental working groups, and what, they're, what they do is they tell you what, what the problem is and that it's lead. Then they, they kind of infer how, it, how their lead is happening and why it's important for us to think about it and, and why it's important for the cities and the states to do something about it. Then after they figure that out, then the first thing, and they for some reason, I've read three or four this morning, they don't even tell you why. Well, I mean, you might be. This might be beneficial to your health, <laughs> but well, I'm, I'm, that's a joke. But certainly not. Now, the lead itself, like how bad is the lead? Like how bad is this? I know for kids, you see flint. I know there's brain damage. Is it? Or I mean, it's it's devastating, right, to your system if you have excess of lead. Like you know, when I when I knew we were going to talk about lead, I simply have I have 26 articles here in front of me. I'm not going to read all 26, but I'm going to outline just one thing. Okay. What we do is we find the document. And then we find the direct effect from it, where it comes from, and then we find out what they say about it. Then we find the need. Meaning the need is really what happens if you drink water that has this high volume of lead, right? Um, just quick thing. I just so I'm going to grab just a, a, three or four. I'm going to just kind of hit it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it here for Young children, infants, and fetus are particularly vulnerable to lead because the physical and behavioral effects of lead occur at lower exposures at, in lead levels than adults. It's over 85% of the lead found in the blood of infants may derive from baby formula made from contaminated water. Children are exposed to lead, it's dust, soil, drinking water. And it's, it's the other major thing about it, it's due, it, it affects children. Children are at the greatest risk of lead poisoning as they're exposed to lead for a short, for a short period of time. Infants who consume uh, food or water, or any liquid for that matter, can receive large doses of lead just from simple drinking water. So it's a big deal. But the, the idea, I went through all these documents, and I just pulled down. I said, exposure to lead, link to. And here's what I pulled from these articles. Brain damage, kidney failure, central nervous system, learning disability, Whoa. impaired hearing, low IQ, um, cardiovascular problems, um, sleep disturbances, memory problems, lower sperm counts, um, rare uh, cases of diseases, uh, nervous system. I'm, I'm going to read just a few. Red blood trouble, <laughs> red blood cell problem, um, impaired in, in, uh, form formation and function of the blood cell, slow growth, anemia, increased with blood pressure, decrease with bone marrow, mood changes, headaches, miscarriages, and impossible to cancer. So that's enough things that can concern me. <laughs> so it's like a book of everything possibly negative comes out of yeah, it. it. Yeah, no question. There's no question about it. And so, and in this booklet, uh, and, and I, when we keep a, uh, a storage of all the magazines, newspapers, and things like that that are going on in the country, and to, trying to, it's a, here's a headline: Newark cans bottled water out to, to, to its filter pro program, and also with a the filter. They found out that what I think it was something like seventy percent of the filters they handed out didn't work. <laughs> so that's not going to do them any good. So the problem is what we try to do after we know the problem and the need, then we then we develop a solution. Now, remember, uh, you know, as you said, uh, I've been in the water business for 50 years. 
You know, I was the original inventor of home reverse osmosis system. Now you you invented the home. Did you invent, Carl, the home reverse osmosis system? Or you one of yeah. the pioneers in that? Okay. No, okay. I was the pioneer. You were the you were the guy that invented the reverse osmosis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now don't, don't get me wrong. I didn't invent the process. I invented the product that relates to reverse osmosis. Okay. That had never been, no one had ever taken the process at that time to a, let's say a portable filtration concept, either uh, either a countertop or under a counter, or you see the office models you see now that are using reverse osmosis, and that and that was very well. Okay. That after that company was in business for three years, uh, Coca-Cola acquired it, and they merged it into their Arrowhead bottled water division. Okay, so after that was over, um, they they I, I expected to see the product around the world. Now it happens to be around the world, but then it wasn't. They didn't do anything at all for three years, and so as a result of that, after five years, my non-compete was up. I went back in the business again and developed another line of product using the process of reverse osmosis using a different membrane so after that was over i started that wasn't that built up for about three or four years and amf corporation you're familiar with them you know they own yes. harley davidson and yep. brunswick and headquarters are going, they're, you know multi-billion dollar corporation they want to get in the water business so they came out and they liked what we were doing so they acquired that company during during the along the way we had uh distribution of course and we were selling to a a multi-level company named Shackley. Mm -hmm. And Shackley, Shackley's, you know, old, old-time multi-level company, one of the largest in the world. And so after a period of time with that, uh, we worked with them and helped them market. We sold $53 million worth of it the first year just to people that are concerned about the quality of their drinking water. That's all it was. Now, in addition to that, we developed a spot-free car wash. <laughs> so if you want to keep your car clean and spots off your windshield and things like that, mm -hmm. use that process. So that went along for quite a while. Uh, additionally to that, now this company that we started now, we've been very good, right? And I've told you stories you've seen, maybe articles, like you've seen, well, Erwin Brockovich, you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Well, I know her relatively well, and um, I know the problem because we're not very far from that. We're like you're 20 miles from the problem. We're only 40 miles, 50 miles, excuse me, from the problem with Erwin Brockovich uh, attacked that area. Oh, okay. The, the, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that's very close. And of course, there's a lot of, certainly a lot of uh, illness, a lot of death, a lot of problems, right? And they solved it. But guess what? They still have the problem. They still really haven't done anything totally about it. Hmm. And that's why it's that's very scary. difficult. That's scary. You know, that's scary. I, I, yeah. You know, I told, I told you about a, a simple one. Um, a woman called me uh, from um, Vegas, uh, a, a lady that was working in some little motel cleaning rooms, and she called me and she said she had a son that only had 90 days to live. I said, my God, I wonder why she's calling me. But she said, I was told that you have some kind of magic cure. Or you, you can do something. You might be helping. So this young man had, had never had a, a shower or a bath. He wasn't, he wasn't able to drink, drink tap water. He wasn't able to eat most foods. He wasn't even able to, eat, to wear most clothing. And he had never, never had a shower. Can you imagine that? Whoa. Now, no, I can't have, imagine it. You know, well, I neither can I, but it's true. She, she said he's got 90 days to live. And so um, as a result of that, she told me what the disease was. It, a disease is called, I'm going to have to spell it for you. It's called systematic mastocosis, M-A-S-T-O-C-Y-T-O-S-I-S. -S -S. It's, it's a disease in which most cells or, 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 or cells involved cause aller, uh, allergic reactions. It causes him, she wrote me this, it causes him to be allergic to the sun, the full moon, tap water, certain clothing, and most foods. Hmm. That's pretty bad. Yeah. So we tried to try program. I put a system in that we that I've been developing, and as a result of that, um, here's a letter I got from him about oh, it's been about six months later. Uh, I tried to stay in touch with him as often as I could. It just said thank you very very much, Mr. Palmer, for giving me a better way of living. The water and the water tanks you've given me have made sure I have a semi-normal life. Well, that's you know that's better than a payday for me. You know, I, I, mm. I, the water business has been pretty good to me, and so financially, you know, sold to four companies, and it's been good. But you know, this is the kind of thing that makes me want to be in the business. Was that the I bubble? The bubble boy? Was that the? Was that what that yeah. was? Okay, yeah. that was the movie thing, right? Yeah, okay, that's right. okay. The boy in the bubble. That's right. Right. And so right. there's been two movies out now about his life. So so anyway, uh, I lost track of him for, for eight years. I could not find him. So I was kind of concerned, and my fear was, is maybe something had happened to them. So on the December the 8th of this past year, I get an email. 
and it says the headline says said to me December eighth to Carl Palmer and it's subject I'm still alive. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's a good way to start and, the letter. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. said he just wanted to thank me for my patience with him to for the willingness to so help support his my only way of life with your incredible products. So that was a great thing, you know. And of course, we've done this same similar concepts with people all over the world. You know, I've been a lot in Asia and a lot in China, and lots of problems, as you I'm sure have heard that um, that we're having problems with. But the the problem always is usually there's one element of contamination and that that can be real real a major major problem right what is what's kind of what's affecting us um so this over this past six months we've been working in depthly working on trying to pick up all the major contaminants here in the united states not just lead but you know i just having a problem with lead there's a lot yeah. more than lead yeah. you always hear oh, of lead oh, but yeah. there's a whole bunch oh, of stuff okay oh yeah. oh yeah well you've got another one that's, that's well advertised already and exposed is pfoas and PFOAs are abundant in, in Newark already. That's and nasty, that's right? Problem. That stuff, EFOA, that's nasty stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, this, they're, you know, they're hydrocarbons, and they cause cancer. Damn right they do. They cause serious cancer. You know, They cause more than just cancer. I've got the similar. Every time we do a document, we do a, we do a research booklet on it. And, and sometimes these books are two or three inches thick. I, I, I just grabbed this one. I just picked it up. and I said, The headline on top of it said, Blood studies show the presence of PFOA's chemicals in blood of 96% of the people in the United States. Oh, that, 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 96. Kind of, 96. Can you imagine? Can you dream of that? You know, that, 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 that's an unbelievable thing. The, 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 uh, there's also evidence of PFOA's in connection with high cholesterol, depressed, depressed responses to vaccine, deceased Decreased fertility in women, and most recently, um, well, I better not read that one. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even over the phone. <laughs> but, well, but here, well, this stuff is so. Na- I mean, you know, I, the kids are for me the most important to protect them. But the the filters we have, because I saw a thing on Newark, Carl, that says they they're, they're now testing 39 filters. They don't even think's working there. Tell us about our fil about. I say it's ours. I'm a you know I own it. Uh, the Seychelles filters, sure. like how they take all this out, all the testing we've done, even compare yeah. it to Brita. Say you always hear, oh yeah, I got Brita, but you know, yeah, com- yeah. compare them and, and what we do. No, no problem. Just before I say that, yeah. I want to finish my remark on PFOA. Oh, okay, yes. Go right ahead. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. My remark was, drinking water in more than 110 million people in America are contaminated with PFOAs. It's the world's most dangerous chemical. And poisons, they, poisons without passports. Now, this is your, your local water, my friend. And, it's a, you know, it, and it says, the chemical is linked to cancer, harm to children's immune system and other serious problems and and, and, and over 100 and PFOA is over 110 million people are exposed right now 110 million oh uh-huh. not 10 million 110 million yeah right 110 oh. million Whoa. and the exposure to the is linked to these following diseases kidney cancer development issues weakened immune system hormone disruption testicle cancer liver cancer prostate cancer um, high cholesterol obesity thyroid disease um, low infant birth, pan- pancreatic cancer. Now, those are all things that are frightening to me, and we wonder what's going on in this world because there's a lot of problems, folks, and there's tons and tons of stuff to read and to research on this. Pull it up on your on your website, and you'll see PFOA and find out, you know, But because the reason is there's 15 different kinds. Mm. There's 15 different kinds now, and we have just received tests just within the last week. We've been working on this test for nine months. We tested one Oh golly! Uh, I think two years ago, and we when I first figured out what it was, and then we did results, and we received what they call a non-detectable result, meaning when they put uh, that contaminant through our product, the results come out, and there's no detectable limit of PFOAs in it. Now the same thing's true with lead. So all that, so now that you know the contaminant causes these specific diseases, so what we do is now we develop the filter system that as um, we do a couple of things. We try to develop a system that's economically available and that people can afford and that will do the job. So we, we, my first thing was is to try to develop a system that because 75% of the water we drink in our life, we drink away from home. So I needed a portable unit of some nature, and I needed something that had pressure. So we came up with a, just a little sports bottle, and it has a 28-ounce sports bottle, and it has our filter in it. And the filter is a primary basis of coconut. But there's a lot more in coconut. There's four items in it. And it has the ability to absorb and adsorb, okay? 
and it has the ability to chemically bond these contaminants as they pa- travel through our filter. The filters are not big. These are small filters. They're only good for 150 gallons. And so, but it does remove these contaminants, and they remove totally non-detectable. The tests we got back from the EPA, excuse me, from the PPA uh, lab just on Wednesday of last week, we they did um, took nine months to finish the test on this one, and they, it, are, we removed in parts per trillion, in parts per trillion, if you can imagine that, totally non-detectable. We, in other words, we removed all of it. So that simple little bottle can do that. Now, in addition to that, we also make a pitcher. Now, we know that Breda and lots of people are out there running around with pitchers. And they and Breda, I think, makes a claim of they, I think they say they do 40 gallons. And they also say they remove some lead and they remove some chlorine. But it's not all. Um, uh, a, couple, a few years back now, they, they had the, the same lead problem in Flint, Michigan. I have the test here in front of me that the Flint Mission Metropolitan Drinking Water uh, uh, Organization did tests on our product, and they were able, by both using uh, lead and copper, and it showed totally non-detectable. In other words, when they put the lead and the copper through the filter, nothing comes out. Nothing. Lead or copper. Nothing comes out. So, okay. No, it just it comes out, tastes better because it removes all. Because as it's doing that, it's removing chlorine, it's removing PFOAs, it's removing, it's removing. Right, uh, right. Chromium, and that's all chlorine. chlorine every, that's all bad. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. well, of course, of course. Removing chromium, removing even it even removes radiation. So, which is important out here in California. This is this will blow your mind. We talk about children because of the radiation content is so high. In the United States, there's over, let's say, that number, 140 million people right now in the United States exposed to radiation. Now, I can't tell you the levels, and I can't tell you where it is or what it is, but we've got documents on all of it. But here's what it does. In the, in, uh, on the West Coast here, we have uh, the hyperthyroidism and thyroid cancer is up 28% in children. Mm. Can you dream of that? That's almost 30% of the kids. That just blows my mind. In our filter, all you do is put water in this bottle and squeeze it and drink it. And that's it. It's mm-hmm. it's got, that's it. There's nothing more to it. You don't add anything to it or anything like that. And our pitcher works exactly the same way. You know, it's convenient. It's easy. makes the water taste fantastic because it removes all the contamination is what we're trying to do. I shouldn't say all, but up to levels of 99.9 and up to the levels of non, non-detectable. And that's what we shoot for. So we go back and try to attack all these different many, many areas of, you know, I, there's a great one. Chilling data shows Americans drink 209 million glasses of unsafe water a day. Can you imagine that? And PFA, they call PFA the primary biggest concern of all of them. That's, it's everywhere. They're finding it everywhere now. So my guess is it will happen this year, and they're just now starting to find out how it can be tested by other products. Um, another product is of course the one that I know a great deal about is the reverse osmosis product, and it can and it can remove it. At, at least that's what I've told. I'm not said the test. I've not seen the test. I'd like to see the test, but uh, it, but uh, RO reverse osmosis will remove these contaminants. I've been told. Now the kicker on it is that when we use reverse osmosis, it does those wonderful things. There's a couple of things I don't like about reverse osmosis. One, it removes trace minerals. You know, we want the heavy metals out of water and most of what they call total dissolved solids. We want those out of the water if we can. So the kicker of that is to get that. Now, trace minerals is something that we don't necessarily want out of water. Those are the beneficial minerals that we get through water, right? So that's important. The other other problem with pH with uh, uh, reverse osmosis is it lowers significantly lowers the pH of the water. And that's something that we all, you, there's a rage, of course, going on about pH water going on in the United States right now. And the basis of that is means you'd like to keep it at least neutral, at least neutral. Now, mm-hmm. there's a lot of pH bottles and water you can buy now that's upwards of uh, up to 8.5 to 9.5%, and that's, uh, or 9.5% uh, pH, which is good. You know, so our, our filter, does it remove pH? I mean, does it increase pH? Of course it does. It runs it up in between 8.5 and 9.5%. And uh, percent. It, anyway, so, and the, and the horrible part about the pH factors is a lot of people don't realize the pH is 0 to 14. 0 is acidic, like a, a soft drink that they allow children to have. Uh, as, as with a, with, I only have to name the soft drinks. You know them all. Are 2.5 pH. 2.5 pH are 4 excuse me, 4,000 times more acidic than neutral. Coffee is a four. So every time you go from seven to a six, 
you go up 10 times. If you go from a 6 to a 5, it's it's 100 times. A 5 to a 4, it's 1,000 times more acidic. Wow. So it's very serious. And so people just, you know what I, what I don't like? Popcorn's for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that either because I have it every night. But uh, yeah. the, so uh, the other, that acid is no good for you, right? That, that high acid. No, okay. Of course not. Of right. course not. So, right. so the other element, if it goes up from a 7 to an 8, it goes up by by, t- by one point. So so you go up by 10 times. If you go from 7 to a 9, it goes up 100 times. Mm. So you're in good shape with that. So And everybody, I guess, um, I think maybe... I think the, the medical world now is getting more and more acquainted with what's going on in that that um, that nutritional world. Uh, that uh, a pH is having a major effect on people's health. You know, we've heard a lot of the relationships of we have I don't know we have tons and tons of uh, endorsements of people that have used our product and the benefits of it. Um, and so you know, and we re- relate it because I can't say we cure cancer or anything like that. I know we help a lot of people's health. We got an awful lot of endorsement that has that starting using our product and they drink a lot of water uh, and it really does help benefit their, their, their current health condition. Well, it's called, I've seen pictures of you and uh, if you could state your age and then I'm going to tell my view, well, I'll tell my viewers now, you, you, you look to be about 56, 58 years old. I know you've been drinking this stuff for 50 years. How, how old are you? If you could tell our viewers, cause this is just almost like a testament on, on everything. Does that, does that really look like I'm that old? <laughs> <laughs> 52. I'm, I'm, I'll go down a couple no, years. I'm, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, most people guess me around 50. That's right. So, but, but, I'm I'm 85. Oh, you know? yeah, right. Oh, 85 now. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and so and most people won't even dream I'm at that age. But 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 I know that's a fact because of my family. My my wife is almost 70, and most people guess her at 45. My daughter is going on 60, and she's and most people guess her as a, I won't say a teenager, but she looks darn young, real young. So those are great benefits of, you know, longevity and health, right? Well, I've been drinking this for three years, and I had someone, uh, I'm in my, I'm actually in my 50s, and someone thought I was 32 the other, last week. They well, thought I was 32, worked. yeah. No, I've got one major customer that uh, I work with all, I have been working for 15 years, and they, um, and the, the daughter of, the, of, the, of this particular marketing company um, started uh, using Pure Water for a dietary program, she drinks about a pitcher a day, one full pitcher a day. She started four months ago, and when I went and I go back and I do sales presentations with them once in a while. And when that happened, she had, that particular time she had been on it for only a month and she had already lost twenty six pounds. But what blows my mind: the second time I've been back there again, which was three, almost four months later, she's lost as of yesterday sixty eight pounds. Ooh, wow! Okay. You know I know, and she's healthy as can be, and, and she she's vibrant, you know, increases your, you know, increases your, um, obviously, um, uh, your energy levels. You know, there's a lot of good things about water, if it's a good water, you know. Right. So, uh, and you can't go around, I don't run, I don't knock any other products, not at all. Yeah, everybody's trying to do what they're trying to do best. Now, the thing I don't like, I think if you buy a product on the market, make sure it has proper, proper testing results in laboratory. Proper laboratory. This guy, I, we use EPA. We use the EPA laboratory uh, certified, and so we test all those contaminants, all heavy metals. That's lead and cadmium and copper and mercury and selenium and zinc and arsenic and nitrates and pl- every single one of those problems have a direct health effect. And then, in addition to that, we test all the organics, and all the organics there are 285 that the EPA requires. And out of those, you have benzene, DDT, trihalomethanes, the contaminants that you, that uh, is affected chlorine when they're mixed together. It causes, uh, and it says this, and because I don't say anything, I don't have documented. But we have all the documentation that say if women in their first pregnancy, in the first trimester of the pregnancy, run a 19% possibility of spontaneous abortion if they if they drink water that has high trihalomethanes and and um, chlorine in them. Now that's not my write up, but I've got a whole library on that. So, well, the bottom so, line uh, is is we're made of water, right? I mean, you hear that. I don't know what the number is. Like it's 80. percent Is that the is that is it really 80 or is it 70? Or so? there's some big number that we're made of water. So it just makes sense okay. that you got to drink good water because that's what you are. Oh, there's no question, you know. And, but, you know, importantly, you know, the key is here, uh, we see the demand and also the opportunity to have 
uh, have people exposed. Some, that <laughs> can That's my simple life. answer, Carl. You, you give us the science. I give I I'll give it the normal guy uh, thing. I don't mean to be too non scientific with that analysis, but <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, well the, the good part is you can change the quality of life by simply changing the quality of, of water. That's all, and it's, it's mm. not, not anything more than that. Just changing the quality of water. You want to get rid of the contaminants in water, and you want to drink good water, and you don't want to drink anything acidic. And that's soft drinks of any sort. I don't care what they are. They're going to be acidic. Tea is a, tea is a, uh, a, a acidic of five. Coffee is about a five. So, you know, I try not to make my, allow myself to drink any of that kind of stuff. But I know soft drinks, I'm, uh, I'm, I get beside myself when I see ads for children to drink the different soft drinks that are on the market. My God, they're terrible for kids. So, and they're, because not only that, they're full of sugar besides being full of, with kind of being very, very acidic. And they're any all chemicals, all of them. Well, that's so, big, big, big money trying to get your money, you know, and getting yep. these kids hooked on that stuff. You know, I guess that's a whole nother story, all that, oh, you know. Of course. But I feel very powerful because I, I feel at my fingertips. I'm so happy you came on because I, I know you're busy. I, I've been trying to get you on and, and the timing is like perfect now since I, we have that meeting set up in, in September for you with the policy advisors for the governor in New Jersey is that. The solution is, is simple. Just just drink this family pitcher. I mean, it's like it's like thirty nine dollars for a whole year of water on, on my portable pitcher. I mean, it's, I know it's normally about three hundred dollars if I keep drinking bottled water, which is whole another issues. You know, is another issue. So it's that yep. simple. Just use the product, and I could have Newark solved tomorrow. Correct, Carl? If I just had this product that takes all this stuff out, is it, is it that simple, or am I missing yeah. something? Well, that's correct. No, it, that's what it all does. You know, you know, I want to comment. Your, your governor was kind enough to write me a nice letter um, and thank me for the unit that we sent back to him. And uh, the, the governor, the governor sent you a letter, correct? Governor Murphy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. You know, I, I imagine he's a hard guy to get to directly, but I said, you know, the simple thing to this whole thing to me, the pictures are, are sell for around fifty, sixty dollars. They give you 150 gallons of water. Now, I don't know what bottled water costs, but let's say it's just a dollar. Each one of these filters are equal to 760 bottles of water. <laughs> so it saves you about $2,000 a year just in cost of bottled water. But, but the key is, as an example, last month, uh, Walmart, Costco, Target, and about 10 other mass merchandisers Took bottled water off the stands out here because they had they found a high degree of ar of arsenic in the water. Oh, in, in, in the bottled water. Yeah, in the bottled water. Oh, exactly. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the thing. You don't even know what they're really filling that stuff up with. Is that right? I mean, it's it's kind of an elementary point of view, but are they is that really what they say it is in those in the water? I, I figure there might be some guy with like a faucet, like just putting water in there. <laughs> You know. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I tell you, there's another reason. You know, it wasn't a, a few years back when everybody said go green. You know, and and, and I vote. We greatly believe in that because that's one of the reasons our product works so well. To to the benefit it is, is that we don't we don't discard any plastics back on our good uh, earth. Right. You so know what? Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I have a book right up here, right in front of me. I can run and grab it. But it says National National Geographic. It's quotes that over 60 million empty bottles a day are dumped back into our landfills. 60 million? I bet it's more than that. Well, I see pictures of the ocean, too, where I guess there's a whole bunch of plastic in the ocean. Oh. And you see all the, the, you know, the seagulls with plastic in them. I know there's, you know, the fish are, are eating the stuff. I mean, it's just a terrible thing. So this oh. even helps that part of it, that they, it could do away with the plastic bottles, which there's is, no question. yeah, yeah. Uh, our, bottles, our bottles are lifetime guaranteed. There's nothing going to go wrong with them, and all they do is replace the filter, you know, every you know, four, five, six months or however how much water they drink. And it's easy to do. If you can wind a watch, you can put this thing on. It's real real simple, but and it's something that you can carry with you easily. But we, we, we also, we've shipped 7 million of these things, Jay, around the world, 7 million. You know, we've been from Sri Lanka all the way down to Australia and almost all the major Asian countries. We've shipped all over South America and certainly in Africa. 
I can read you an article. I, I the headline of the article says simply says it's it's African. It's the Afri- Excuse me. It's yeah. It's the African Press out here. They have it's a, it's a magazine or a newspaper that they sell. And is now I want to thank. It's a dear Carl. I want to thank you so very very much for the for the efforts that you've made in trying to help the all six hundred million people of Africa with their drinking water and the direct effect on their health. So, because we ship product into Africa, sometimes we can afford to give it. Sometimes we can't. So that it, it, it's everywhere. So, with seven hundred million out there, that's that's quite a few. That's quite a few, and it, it's a world problem. You always hear, you know, you we'll go to Mexico, don't drink the water, you know. And then I know Puerto Rico might be having another hurricane coming up soon. Yeah. Then I know there's the island water situation where they, they they don't have water. You know, it's 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 worldwide, big time, right? I mean, it's just wherever you look at, it, the more you hear about it. Every time I talk to you, I tell my wife, I'm afraid to drink any other water than than the filtered water because it's so scary, you know. Of, well, you know. What? Yeah. It's not a matter of afraid to, Jay. You just don't drink it. That's all. You just, you okay. just carry one of these units around with you. That's it. Drink. That's all. It's so, <laughs> it's so simple. It's so simple. It's kind of, it's kind of, it, it got, you have to be real brain dead not to understand that one. It's just real, real simple. Well, and what's great, mm-hmm. it helps kids. Uh, I've, got, I've got a bunch of great grandkids, right? They all drink out of that bottle. You can't get them to drink a tap water. In fact, I can't even get my dogs to drink tap water. Well, they it's funny. I, I I put my, I put the, uh, the the family pitcher water in my dog's bowl. I, I feel guilty if I have to you know rush quick, and, and, I, and my wife puts the other water, and I'm like, no, nah, I have to dump it and put the filtered water in, you know, for the dog, you know. Well, you know, see, yeah. they pick up the they pick up the chlorine smell. Ah, okay, okay. They like that. That okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, and I've, and I've been doing that for, but I've been in this month. I've been in the, in, the, in the drinking water business now fifty years, and uh, and I. Don't regret anything I've done in the business as to a, a scare tactic. I don't call it a scare tactic. You know, I don't think it's a scare tactic to people. As an example, on these, look, look, let me read you something. I don't know how much time we have, but this will only take me less than two minutes, okay? Okay, okay. And then we'll do our hit and miss word association, then we'll wrap it up. Go ahead. Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. The, the following contaminants are exposed in our drinking water and the people of our country. This tells you the contaminants. The amount of people exposed, our reduction ratio on our, our testing, and a major, major health concern. I only have eight of them. Lead is the first one. 100 million people are exposed to lead. Our production reduction capability is 98.8%. The health concern is brain and organic damages. Arsenic, 140 million people. Our, our reduction ratio is 92.4%. The possible health concern, cancer and death. BFOAs, 110 million. Our reduction ratio is 100%. Cancer and reproductive damage. Our chromium-6, 200 million people. 95.57% reduction. Kidney damage and liver cancer. Radiation, 170 million people. Our reduction ratio is 100%. The possible cause is cancer and various to various organs. Fluoride, a uh, high percentage, around 40 million. A uh, problem with fluoride, fluoridation is def- birth defects and cancer. Chlorine, uh, almost all the water in the United States. Possible stroke, cancer. And if you drink water over a lifetime, you run a 44% greater, 44% greater risk of dying to cancer if you don't drink chlorinated water. And then the last one is benzene, 50 million, 99% possible cancer. That's Whoa. just a few of them. That's invaluable info. I mean, that is, you know, well, that's what this 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 whole thing is. It's saving lives, making people help, making people healthier, living a better life. I mean, the whole thing. It's just it's just a perfect scene, and I want as many people to know about this as possible. So that's why I urge everyone to just keep sharing this. We got the right guy behind us here with Carl Palmer, who's who has our backs and is getting this thing out. So I I, I think there's a lot of good news ahead with this as, as the word spreads out here. Um, Carl, I want I want to get my hit and miss, then we'll wrap it up, which is our word association. Little little fun, little fun. We a little funny after after all that, even though it's good news because <laughs> we're going to be helping a lot of people. But um, word association, ready? Here we go. Favorite color? What's your favorite color? Blue. Okay. If you were in a foxhole, other than any family members, who would be in the foxhole with you? Both my dogs. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I haven't had anyone say to dogs yet. I like that one. I like that. <laughs> they don't yell back. Or what's, what do they say about dogs? They don't talk back or whatever? Yeah. That's right. When they go everywhere, I go. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. If you were on a deserted island and you had to bring two music records or two musical CDs, whatever you call them, with you, you're on this island for five years, beautiful weather, two music records, what would you bring? I think I'd bring uh, Joe Bonabasa. Mm-hmm. And I would bring 
no golly. Um, probably Willie Nelson or some or, or Earl Haggard or something like that. Some down home kind of music. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that. What is your favorite movie? Uh, being there. Okay, favorite actor or actress? You remember uh, Peter Sellers was. Okay, okay. Ocean. What do you think when you hear the word ocean? I think of the Pacific Ocean, and I think of fishing. I like the fish. Okay, okay. All right, this is this. I'm going to hit you hard with this one because it's going to be an interesting. I'd love to hear what you're going to say with this on a word association. Uh, Brita. Well, Brita. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't want. I don't get any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the first thing that came to your mind. Because <laughs> Clorox owns them and they got a lot of money. That's good. I want to tell you let, let me tell you what I really believe. And I know they have twenty million a year to advertise, and I don't. But, okay. And because we don't even advertise, uh, we've spent fifteen hundred dollars in the last seven years in advertising. Our our product is simply reference products. I think, I think it's a shame that with all of the money that they have behind them, that they don't really. Um, research as we have done and find out what the contaminants in drinking water really are, do the proper testing, get the proper technology, and offer a product to people that really benefits them. Not just a product that removes some lead and some chlorine per 20 to 40 gallons. I don't think that's good. So I don't, that's their business. I can't, can't change it, but I'm sorry to see that they have that with that they could make a greater, um, let's say, they can make a greater, greater contribution to the population and the health of our country. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, all right. Who was the most famous person you ever met? Mm, I guess Dick Nixon sponsored me to college. I guess he was pretty famous. R R Richard Nixon? Mm-hmm. Okay. How was he when you met him? How, how, how long ago? Really long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking like 1959 or something then, right? I'm talking about, about I think 1952. I think. Oh, oh, when he was a when senator. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, that, that's good. All well, right. You know what? He, he yeah. went to Whittier College, and, and, and that's where I ended up going. Oh, you went to the same college? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, okay, okay. Well, he, re he, re he, re he referenced me into the college and then helped That's me cool. get a, getting a commission in the Navy. That's what I did. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And uh, last one, Carl, on, on the word association. If you had one wish in the world, I'm a genie, genie I'm going to grant you one wish in the world that's going to happen tomorrow. What, what would your wish be? How about that one? Change, change the quality. Oh, sure, it's easy. Change the quality of, the, uh, of, of, the quality, uh, of drinking water and eliminate the contamination that we have going on throughout the world. Clean, that would be my clean water throughout the world. Well, pure, clean, clean, safe drinking water is what would be my mission. Remember, I've traveled all over the world, and I've been in more water supplies you'd ever dream. And there, you can't find good water. That's all there is to it. There's nothing out there that doesn't have at least chlorine. I mean, I don't drink chlorinated water. So... Um, I would say that would be my greatest wish if that could ever happen. But I I met billionaires, I met people that could help a lot, and a lot of big companies that could help a lot. But I don't see it happen. Hmm. You know, all mm -hmm. these multi-billionaires and stuff that run. What what in the world do they do for mankind or humankind? Excuse me. Right? You just change the world. I mean, just just with this, you know, basically just with this product. I mean, you have clean drinking water so, throughout the world. So simple. Yeah. So yeah. simple. That's a little product of ours. It just simply does it. That's all. You put water in the, it's like, like a pitcher. You put water in the reservoir, just let it go through, and you drink it. That's all. That's all there is to it. You don't have to add anything to it. You don't have to, yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> it just works. That's all. The filter is gravity feed, and the one that's at the bottle that you can take with you every day of your life, it, you squeeze it and drink it. It just works super. Yeah, it's not even it's not even a bad looking bottle. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know what? I, people laugh at me kind of because I take it with me wherever I go. Literally, I always have it in my well, hand wherever I go, yeah. restaurant, whatever. They let me put the I put their water in my in my filtered water. You know, of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't prepare for that. Where I put the bottle of water in it too, and it, I tell you, it tastes it tastes much much better. I mean, it's not even close. I can't drink the bottle. You know, if I'm stuck in a pinch, it's hard to drink it. You know, after after getting used to the uh, filtered water. You know, but um, well, Greg, 
you know, you know, it helps hydrate you. It helps detoxify you. Now, those two things you want, right? That's all. That's and you're good, and you're putting, you know, a, a, a safe system to your your body that your body doesn't have to work on trying to get rid of all these contaminants that we're going through, and where some people are absorbing many. And look at the look at the cancer rate in this country. Where do you think that all comes from? It keeps going. Not, it keeps not, going higher, right? I mean, from fifty years sure. ago, you think we have inroads, but I, I think it's the same or even more, right? Yeah, and I don't see anybody saying if you drink chlorine. I read too many uh, scientific documents that say if you drink chlorinated water, you're in a forty-four percent greater risk of dying of cancer if you don't. Now, I read it over and over and over again. Now it's been everywhere. I've got, I've got, I've got a whole. You, you, you've been. You've been a whole room full of documentation of libraries. You know, we've got probably, I'd say, easy a million dollars worth of research on just contamination, where it comes from, how it gets there, what, how you, del- how it's delivered, and when you drink it, what happens to you. And so, that's all I'm trying to do. And all we try to do is to figure out a way to get rid of it or to, or to eliminate it. And that's what we've done with our product called say show well i mean if i ever drink chlorinated water in the swimming pool by accident boy that stuff is poison you know i mean well you could you could, you could jump in the swimming pool with ease and just drink and put swimming pool water in this bottle and drink it no problem at all i, the, <laughs> I did that the, once yeah my, my my people thought i was crazy i put it in there and i said i'm drinking this and oh no it t- took it right out i mean yeah i mean it's it's an amazing product it's a great thing I, I i hope this spreads out once we hit newark if newark accepts your you know your solution throughout all the cities you know whether it's flint or you know you mentioned there's a lot of cities i know down south there's cities anyone that has pipes i guess you know is going to have issues you know so it's a whole big thing and i love to see this thing roll out um you know carl i appreciate your wisdom you know your your your, your legacy is amazing Any, anything you want to add in closing i'll give you the kind of like the final word no i just i just appreciate your time you i appreciate you taking the interest and you know i wish all the people took this much interest uh, we we uh, we'd like to reach them but um so far um we have it. We don't even have a good website. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not we, it's good. It's good. Hey, yeah. We would sell <laughs> what have you. But anyway, um, you know, I appreciate your effort completely. And uh, you know, if, if people are interested and want to know more, you know, work as a um, umbilical to get those people to me in any way I can help or answer any questions, whether it be whether it be um, uh, technical or just be everyday uh, drinking any any drinking water question. Okay. Okay. We've got a lot of wells in this country, and those got problems too. Okay. Okay, maybe that's another show. I mean, I could probably be on for five hours, and I know you. I, I know you're so busy. I appreciate this time for this hour. Um, you know, Seychelles Environmental Technologies is the company. That was Mr. Carl Palmer. I am Ray K, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>